Dozens of Brigham Young University Idaho students may not have a place to live next semester. Eyewitness News 3's Rachel Fabby has more from the students and what they are doing now. I've been stressed out of my mind. I actually used to be homeless and I have a very poor family. And so coming to college was already very stressful. Samuel Bird is just one of dozens of residents at Brigham's Mill who may be out of a home come this spring semester. In a March 22nd email, Connection Property Management told the tenants to be prepared to move out by April 8th, the day after the semester ends. Bird says the stress of finding a place to live during finals and previously being homeless has left him frazzled. I did very poorly on an, on an exam, which I normally would do very well on just because like I'm so stressed about trying to find places to live. I'm talking to people about contracts. I'm trying to figure out the legal side and all of it while I'm also trying to figure out how to make my money and and work over spring break and plan school for next semester and also try to keep my grades up during this last couple of weeks. The email they received said in part that the owners are looking to convert the property into community housing. However, they note the plan depends on getting approval from the city of Rexburg and receiving sufficient qualified buyers. Some students are now seeking mediation with connection. When we signed that contract, we were you know, bound to respect those different clauses and one of them is really to go through mediation with the school. and. The same way that we're abiding by the contract, we're expecting as well the landlords and the owners to respect their own end of their contract. I, I guess as Guillermo already stated, that they didn't expect students who are already incredibly stressed with finals and, uh, and other things to think that we had any options. And um, we just think that they did not, they, they were not aware that we um, are a little more than just students. They believe if the plan is approved, it could set a dangerous precedent for other renters. By seeing this happening, other owners might be feeling encouraged to kick out other students if we roll over and they use the same methods or just simply selling their apartment complexes, which just causes more damages to the shortage that there is of housing in Rexburg. There is a too much demand, not enough supply. In Rexburg, I'm Rachel Fabby. Our calls and messages to the property management company went unreturned, but we have been told by residents that the company is working with students on options and solutions, and the talks have, quote, been very cordial. Uh, the Rexburg City Council will meet tonight at 630 to discuss the change. Of course, we will keep you updated.